What's going on fellas? Over my 2000 hours playing solo, I've learned how to be my own base bitch. No electricity, no piping. This is just a simple little electricity. Piping will come later after I pipe your mom. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do all 12 auto turrets, three electric furnaces, a uh, freaking seismic sensor into a smart alarm. And I even made this little cool little five second door. Press that button, it opens for five seconds. Um, you could add more to this once I explain how uh, these branches work because they're kind of the most important part. See, I have switches for all of them so you don't have to disconnect them to put in new guns or more ammo. We're gonna start with windmills. You should put them at least uh, 14 things high. Or well, not at least, that's just uh, where they get about their maximum. It'll fluctuate, but it goes all the way up to 150 power output. I think that's per second, I'm not too sure though. It'll go all the way up to 150 down to like 120 any lower it'll start dropping off a little bit usually i have one like three above my base but if you want the maximum output you're gonna need a uh, 14 stories tall and then since i'll show you right here the maximum cord length is only 30 30 meters i'm assuming that's what that is uh this will not be able to reach all the way down here to the large battery and neither will that so what we have is a root combiner I hear this red fucker. I thought you could use an electrical branch, but they don't go into the input of a root combiner. So yeah, you just have to use root combiners to extend it. But basically you put the first one, you can also uh, do something like this. All right, to find out uh, where uh, you gotta put the root combiner, let's clear that, all right? You just bring this down as far as you can, put it up a couple, click right there, the root combiner down, and the uh, the wire will remember. So you can use root combiners to extend it instead of just, you know, combining them. Even though it's supposed to combine two powers here, just combine one. It takes no power to run it. So basically just the easiest way to go more than 30 meters with your cords. And then I have this one. I think this one has like two or three root combiners, four root combiners. Bring it all the way over to this one, which goes into the splitter. And the reason it's being split into two rechargeable batteries is because you want more than 10 turrets or 10 turrets and anything else. Else, you're gonna need more than one rechargeable battery because they both have a maximum output of 100 so if you want 12 turrets you're gonna need at least two rechargeable batteries and you want batteries just in case like MLRS or something breaks these turrets maybe heli I would also recommend building this shit with uh, metal because last time I built it with stone in my last rust movie a heli came and it fucked up our entire base so you're gonna want to make that shit out of metal I have them splitting off just to make sure there's going an equal amount into each battery and then I have them coming back out into another root combiner you know just so this can charge whenever shit's you know maximum output so for the initial electricity branch you're gonna need to count up how much electricity you need so uh, let me just quick turn these off making too much noise so you count off how much you need for in this first one and then for each turret or each electricity component you're gonna need another electricity branch and then if you have something that split into three you can use a splitter which is what i did here because uh, just a waste of time to put branches in all of these you can even do splitters for each one of these but i decided not to just to um show off these more because splitters are kind of obvious it just splits it into how many you have connected so if we see here three 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 nine but if i take one off it splits it between four and five so it just splits how many you have connected not always three so the first one all of the watts you need for everything so 10 for each 10 for each auto turret, uh, one for the seismic sensor and the smart alarm, they both combined have one. Nine total for these furnaces, which gets split into three each, and then one for this, this whole little door thing. And all of that, that's what, 120, 121, 130, 131. So we come back here, 131. And then from here, each branch, you're gonna branch off 10. You're gonna connect the branch out to the power in on the switch and the power out on the switch to the auto turret and then the power out on the branch to the next branch. And then another 10, same thing. Switch, turret, power out to the next branch. All the way down, seismic sensor. Just have to branch out one. Branch out to the seismic sensor, power out to the smart alarm and then power out the branch to the next one. Of course, that's we've been doing this whole time. Branch out nine. Three for each furnace to the splitter, split that into threes, power out to this. And then for this fancy little contraption, I just have the power out of the branch going to the power in of the timer. And then uh, buttons actually don't need any power in. I guess if you, yeah, if you were if you were to take this out and put the power out to the button, it would open for the button, but this gives a little delay. So power out 
into the power in of the uh, timer. Power out of the timer to the door controller. Not the uh, open or close, you just put it to the power in. And then the button is just activating the switch, you don't need any power in, so just boom. You got yourself a little uh, opening door. If you're going for the full 12 turrets, and furnaces, and a seismic sensor, and like all the piping shit, I would definitely hit it with a uh, two medium output windmills. They, they could be like 10 I. I would put two of those medium I, combine them. Definitely into two large batteries because one won't work if you want any type of electricity and turrets so throw it into two of these throw that through all of these electricity branches make sure to branch off the amount that you need each time and then the power out goes to the next branch but also uh this is gonna be for a different video but i want to check it out i guess you can't um auto refill turrets kind of sucks that would be pretty nutty though infinite turret you can also connect up a nice electric heater if you live in the snow. Throw that in real quick. Alright, so three power usage in 34. Now there's going to be three at this end one. Or well, three extra. And now we can take it off the timer. Throw it into the heater. And now the pass through has one because this only takes three. And then throw right that right back into here. Everything works just as normal. And we have a heater. And for anything that has a pass through, ceiling lights, I'm pretty sure I have a pass through. Yeah. If something has a pass through, it basically does the whole branch thing for you. So instead of having to use a branch for this uh heater, it just branches three power out of it for itself, and then you can continue going. But for most things, like turrets don't have pass-throughs, seismic sensors don't have pass-throughs, and smart clocks don't have pass-throughs, electric furnaces don't have pass-throughs. Let's say I put six of them down, pass-through, and the power in, pass-through, and the power in. Just keep doing that all the way through. And then, actually, hold on, I can't even do this. It's gonna look real ugly, but it'll work. That pass through can go over here to this. And what do we need? One, two, three, four, five, seven, fourteen more. Back over here. Put one, one forty-eight. Bam. Everything's on. Heater's on. Door still works. So if you see something has a pass through, uh, it basically just does the electrical branch part for it. It branches off two and then power outputs to the next one branches off two power outputs to the next one branches 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 all the way until it either runs out of power or the circuit ends it's a pretty simple uh rust electricity thing you can also put a switch on each one of these lights but then um then <laughs> put a switch on each one of these lights this light wouldn't be able to activate unless you switch on this light so then you would actually need um these uh branches hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something and uh yeah